Hi guys, this is EU4 Multiplayer. Hi. I'm with people. Hello. Hello. Proud to you, King. Hi. We have fellow Stokers, Austria. Uh, someone playing as England. No, oh, I see. I how can't it remember. Is. I can't remember. It's Brunswick, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you go drink your Foster's beer? Oh, dude, come on. It's none of that. It's n let's have none uh, of that. I am playing as Muscovy, yep. and Shifty is playing as Castile. Yes. Yes. And we're gonna try not murder. We're gonna try not murder each other. Yeah. Try. 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 Um, try. we just spent the last ten minutes explaining to Brunswick about the English parliamentary system. Yes. He's never played Parliament before, so can't blame him. Alrighty. Has <clears throat> everybody taken their time to? Figure out what the hell they're gonna do with the world. Yes, yep. but don't on pause. Oh, okay. Actually, I would I would like to on pause because I got a diplomat returning and I kind of need him. So I can be friends with people. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need friends. England man. Be my bestie. Who needs friends when you Hurry. have vassals, right? Yeah, that's yeah. how I feel. Um, I'm going to take him. And my <laughs> diplomatic revelation guy. So after you guys and done with France, are you guys gonna help me with the Burgund, but our Burgundy inheritance, right? Yeah, sure. It's I Spain. Sure. What do you want? Spain's about? definitely not gonna claim it for himself. My keyboard maybe, shortcuts maybe actually work this time. Wow. I accidentally rivaled Burgundy, so they're not. Ten and me eight, so. They rivaled me. Uh, also, you know, if you put all your troops in mainland France. Uh, France is less likely to take that decision to uh, declare war on you. I did that like several times as England, and they did not declare war on me for Maine. Well, it's England's decision whether or not you go to war. They'll just do the surrender of Maine. It's just an event. True. That pops yeah. up. No, it, it it's Brings true. But I said yeah. I said I would not give it up, and then he gets the option to declare war. All right, people are already gonna hate me because. Um. No, see, what happens like is the event pops for France, and then he, he demands Maine, and then England says, you know, we're not going to give it to you, you French bastards, and uh, you declare for the restoration of Union. And then they immediately uh, take Maine, like, uh, they immediately occupy it without the troops there, which is slightly annoying, but meh. I usually put most of my troops, because I know that's going to happen, I usually put it, like in France, so... That's what I do, and then I just spam mercs so that I have, like, five times their army, and then just crush it. Oh, that's right. All as well. Muscovy has the Cossacks. What do they do? Nothing. Uh, they, they do do some good stuff. Yeah, they give you cavalry, uh, yeah, combat ability bonus, and then I think the next level up, it gives you uh, they cost less recruiting. Yes. Fair enough. Right. Also, I'm ready whenever. So I'm yep. Ready, ready to on pause. I have a terrible horrible fucking air. I forgot all about him. He's not that great at a general either. I just need an air, that way I don't have to deal with this. I just, uh, rolled a general. He's alright. It's, uh... If anyone wants a half oh, wow, that's amazing. I, I have a 3-4-3 three, three yeah, three uh, general. I'll take a half -swift. Oh, yeah, I started out with a 2-4-3 general. I actually started out with a 1-1-3, one, one, so I rolled another one. Uh, and brought my ability to 80%. There we go. Speed one is so slow. No. Oh, yeah, sorry. Speed two it is. Yeah, speed two is manageable. It's not that much of a headache. Just speed two, and then uh, after a couple of months, we'll do speed three. Yeah. By then, everybody should have everything all figured out. Eh. Portugal wants to be my best buddy. Uh, That's my boyas are at 82%. Oh, of course. My super general from the start of the game died immediately. Ugh. Feels good, Cute. man. Yeah. Apparently Novgorod just lost their Was trade recently team. granted and cannot be revoked. Oh, great. And here comes the vassal spam from... Wait, Yaroslav is... Wait. Oh, there. Eh, fine. <clears throat> I'm an ally Provence. Yeah, right. I know, right? Which idiot decided that was a good idea, and I'm hemorrhaging money. Time to go to war. You know, I'm Monarch know. Death, there's a succession war between England and Castile. Oh, Ooh. lovely. 
And they hold off on helping you with France then, until we see what happens with Austria. Hmm. I, I'm more oh, that's like right, I have a free air. diplomat. So I'm do not, you really... diplomats? Uh, I don't know how to use basically... that. Basically, okay. So, make sure all but one of your slots are open. All but one. And then... Yeah, and then with that one slot, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the countries you want to improve relationships with. And then right before you see the, like, you see improved relations and then you don't hit anything. You don't hit confirm or anything. And then right click a nation. Okay. And then do improve relations and keep, and keep doing that. Just right click nations. And then once you're done, just hit C a bunch of times. And then bam. I'm showing people all oh, okay. the fun and exciting and interesting ways you can to build troops. <laughs> On Monarch's death, the succession war between England and Castile. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, no, I was reading that wrong. <laughs> that was, that was uh, on Austria. Poland. Yeah. Poland took, yeah, I was about to say Poland took the Union. Good on them. I'm gonna support my heir. Sure. Oh, you know, so. you can't actually put Poland under a Union. You can only go under them. That's so if, cute, I guess. If I die, I get, um, Shifty's so dynasty. You get a Trastamara? Yeah. Please die, I want you to Lithuania is no longer a valid rival. So, uh, who wants to join me to restore the, uh, oh, damn it. Nope. Not right now. I'm busy. How do they already have, okay. How do they already have a Habsburg? This I is don't crap. know. Get hungry. Kicking the crap out of Ryazan. They get an option. Oh my god. Yeah, Vassals. I know, but I've, I've played as hungry, like, five times and I'm I so used to being options. able to pause crap oh I'm the only one you can oh. still pause yeah 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 sorry oh just forget can't... there's no we can all there's... pause yeah I'm just the only one who can unpause regardless yeah right okay Novgorod is engaging my army uh can I get I can get out maybe Maybe. 17th of June, 11th. Oh, fuck, I have to take this flight. God damn it. I shouldn't have allied them. That was a mistake of Hungary. All right. Oh, no, getting getting the alliance with Hungary is actually a good idea. Yeah. Chance for a personal union. Yeah, but don't I get a better chance if I do Restoration of the Throne, CV? Mmm. <laughs> it's been a while since I played as Austria. I can't actually remember. Usually Austria just ends up getting an event where they have a union over Hungary. Friendlies okay. can attach to but me. Not until much right, later. so you are not going to like, be actually I able to do anything. So right, just going to come back. I think to... it is an event. I'm gonna Royal Mary Bohemian get that. You, I think you can also get an event to take over Bohemia too. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I know that. I'm good. Fact. You're good. Yep. Good. I have to take the fight anyway, so here's hoping that my um, allies are close enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't matter. Novgorod is actually pathetic. Yes, they are. If, I swear to God, if any of you do a succession war when I get one of these PUs and try to stop me, I'm gonna kill both of you. Well, if it fires, we can't help them. You can help me, but you can't just join against me. That's messed up. If we're forced to join, then, um... Well, yeah, you're forced. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know what you want us to do there. If it forces you, I'm not going to stop you, but... Ugh, that kind of hurts. Everywhere. I'll take a Habsburg. I mean, historically, I should have a Habsburg. I mean, anyone's better than my current. Yeah. Yeah, my current heir is just fucking horrible. The Habsburgs don't get to take over England until, oh god, a long time from now. The Habsburgs take over England? Is that, is that historical? No. Yeah, um, the King Georges were all Habsburgs. Really? Yeah, they all had weird faces as a result because of... 
Habsburgian they, they, funny business. Yes. They were indirectly Habsburg. Oh, uh, I see. But see, I thought they were from Kenno. So. And I guess there are Habsburgs from other areas of the there, but. Don't quote me on this. Unaware. Comment section. Leave me alone. Yes. Oh, God. Well, Hungary's gonna get destroyed. Ottoman? Yeah, they, they allied Albania. Oh, uh, of course dear they God in heaven. Your French people are fabricating claims on me. No! Why would you do that, French people? Oh my God. Yes, a 6-4-3. Oof. Oh, man. General? Or you gotta... Air. Oh, you son of a dingus. <laughs> I'm so hey. glad I'm doing an, an administrative idea group first. Oof. Shift, I gotta, consolidate. I gotta go for exploration. Wow. Novgrod Spain, is just spamming troops. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get my PU over Portugal. Perm. Eventually. We'll see. Pascal. Yeah, hopefully you're a Habsburg by then. Mm, we'll see. If I start getting PUs early, then I'm just gonna... My goal for this is to have Habsburg on all the major thrones, including Russia. Uh, no. Uh, Habsburg Empire. Why not? Because. He wants a Basilius. Exactly. Well, they're they're not this, around. This for is long. taking forever. That's not true. You can always free the Basilius. He's just got to hurry up. Because uh, so, Ottomans took mission to conquer the Levant first. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hang on what a second. Was that? The Levant. Hmm. They want to take. They want to fight the Mamluks. Yeah. I don't even border the Mamluks. Oh, they border them via yeah. a sea tile, but eh, whatever. No, they. That's it. Yeah, it's strange for them to take that so early. I didn't think they could even get that mission because they don't even border them. Scotland's in alliance with France. Poor Scotland, they're gonna die then. Yeah. Yep. I mean, if we were to all ally each other and fight against France, I'm pretty sure we would destroy France and Scotland. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. mind some help against Novgorod, but that's just me. Oh, those are so easy. Shh. Why have I given these guys so much goddamn land? How is Novgorod like able to afford so start. many men? See, I, 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 Republic. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I should ally Byzantium and then destroy the Ottomans. So Byzantium's a major power. Because yeah. they're a lot easier to deal with. I think you could vassalize them and then just feed them. That's what I would do. Yes, I got an heir. Yay! He's... Oh no, it's a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, I got an heir on Pop Pop's Brunswick. He got married with Lancaster 1-1. One, one, you got a one. really bad marriage with Lancaster. Yeah, I, I married and got an heir at the same time. Ugh. Yeah. Faults are taking forever to fall. Hopefully Henry <laughs> dies okay. before okay, wait the uh, War of the Roses. Well, I can't, I, you, I, can't get, you can't get it now because you're not there. Yeah. King Henry, 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Heir, Mary, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Wife, Queen, 2-2-5. Two, two, Hey, that air. Yeah, that air is a hundred percent increase from what you had. That's mm. true, actually. Okay, so the war of the Yaroslav was about to fall, but Novgorod, being an absolute net that he is, decided that no, I don't want to sit there and take the fort. I want to move. Oh God, the Shadow Empire is oh. collapsing. I'm I'm not gonna do it. I did it in my Austria campaign, and it wasn't worth it. Nah. Very rarely ever is. The Pope. Where are you going? Novgorod. I don't know. I think it would be interesting to see you into HRE. Er, yeah. Grayskin. I mean, I can do that, but it was not fun doing it. And we would kind of have to restart because I have to immediately declare war on Fable State. Why? Mm. Because of timing. Yeah. 
trust me I, I i've done this before it, it, it there's only like a couple months of root like you have to get a short you have to like take take romagna and verbino then wait do you take, need those in order to form you need you need to basically vassalize the pope and then take all of venice but because of because of aggressive expansion and because it's the freaking pope yeah you have to attack the pope first get yeah. two provinces for those attack venice when you have low enough aggressive expansion or and then attack, attack the pope again well you need you need to basically take all of venice's land besides venice and yeah. then give give that one province that's for milan back to Milan so you don't take too much aggressive expansion. Yeah. And then oh no! The Grandia's reputation tarnished! Oh, I can lose his ability or I can lose his power. Stop Fine. Bye bye Diplo power. Do I have gold? I do yeah, have gold. Actually, that's Vassal the one thing I haven't done the yet. Pope is not fun for Austria. I forgot I had gold. Yay, we won the Siege of Ryzen. Great. Moving on. Yeah, and then after I vassalized the Pope, I then released him, which was just a waste of, like, monarch points. And the only reason I did that was to make the HRE stronger and not have the Shadow Kingdom. I really, really want to get rid of my heir. I hope he just dies, but I don't think he will. Ooh, they want an alliance with England. Mm -hmm. So I'll end up with the Castilian Civil War if I put him in power. Venice declared war in Byzantium, of course. Of course. I think Novgorod thinks he can uh, carpet siege me. It's not going to happen, dude. Here comes a 21 stack. The AI does some really squirrely stuff in this game sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. When did I Especially as the Ottomans when I was fighting Persia. I think my god, they would like go, oh, the... I have to go all the way around? Screw that. Ah. Oh. Damn fort, hurry up and fall already. <clears throat> uh, separate piece, Ryzen. Taking all your land, taking all your money. Thank you, bye. You no longer exist. Ta da! Most of that was to attrition. And start coring. Oh, well, I only have a 3% chance to increase my... Muscovy is now a great power. power. Yeah. And you just kicked me out. I am really pissed off at you. That's you all right. You'll get status. over it. You'll oh, be fine. I have, I have, so, I have a mission to vassalize Salzburg. Yeah. Attack Burgundy. Oh. Or improve relations with Alsace. Uh, I guess I would just take the improved relations for yeah, yeah I'm you kind of need Salzburg. Salzburg. And I get diplomatic reputation, too. He's a bit of a pain in the butt later on. Mm, Never played this Austria. Novgorod and Perm. Perm should win that one. Should. It's a four stack Austria versus 1.9. Austria is fun because it's like a different way to play the game. You can either play seats, like I, break mine. I played. Yeah, you can either play like... I take all, like, I'm just friendly with everyone, and then I, like, actually control the Empire, which I did my first time to get the HRE achievement. Or you can play as Uber Austria and just conquer everything. Hmm. I, I played, I played with, uh... Uber Brandenburg. Uber Austria does sound a little bit easy, though. It is. Mm. I played with a mod, I forget what it was called, but it was basically, like, customized around Austria. Relieve the siege. Yeah. And, like, one of the first events you get is just, like, a Byzantium is in danger and they see us as another Roman Emperor so well, you get an option to ask them if they want to be your vassal and That's they almost cute. always take it it's such it's such a fantastic because you just sit there and then feed them Ottoman land I'm probably horribly mismanaging everything here I'm sorry comment section be gentle don't be gentle destroy him Ooh, shock damage be received gentle, nice Like, like, 
that's why I like Austria because you can play two ways. You know, you can yeah. you can be the Uber Austria and like take everything, or you can just you know make sure nothing happens to HRE. Oh yeah, England, just be aware, or Brunswick, just be aware that uh, I am, when I become Spain, I'm gonna get a claim on the board, a permanent claim. And so on, board. on the board. The board. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just do. I know that I do. I've seen it happen before. Huh. I think because it's. I think it's Basque culture. Yeah. It's because it's Basque culture. Before the monthly tick and stack wiped. Oh, that's because of Navarra. Yeah. Oh, you haven't vassalized Navarra yet? I'm almost there. I got. I, I got. See, yeah, I see England's trying to improve relations. No, it's the other way. He's no, improving relations with England. He's a kingdom, mm, so he's got three diplomats. Improve relations with Sweden. Going to backstab them later. Oh, boo. Well, well then, so that of, what's his name? By Bavaria. Ooh, no. Bohemia's kicking Bavaria's ass, though. Hi, Bello. I sent you a friend request. Best friends forever. Yep. And royal marriage. Hmm. Eh, yeah, fine, whatever. Perhaps for a How long do you think I have before the war with France? I, I'm actually kind of surprised. Normally it's already kicked off by now. Yeah. For me, it usually kicks off later. I'd say you have at least until the Renaissance. Personally. So three years. Sweet, I got my mission my done. Craft, and my craft is sitting at home. zero. That's oh, because I'm overextended. <clears throat> my alliance is breaking with Navarra. Oh uh, yeah, because they're my vassal. Duh. Like, okay. Am I actually gonna have to sure. do anything in this? No. Do you actually need my? He's a one province minor. Who's he allied with? Pause the game. Augsburg. Ah. Hmm. What? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna step yeah, up I know. here. You can you can call us in. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing shit. <laughs> yeah. Augsburg. Oh, it's another it's them. another little shitty one province minor somewhere around wherever. You've already got your troops on this land. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I need a leader. Yaroslav, how did you lose that? You had four thousand troops to his two thousand. What the hell? Fine, I will go deal with your problems. Maybe 2,000 two thousand of his troops were non-combat troops. Apparently so. They swore off see, violence. Look. Now we can actually see your war. Me? Yeah, I can yeah. see it there. You are losing your great power status. Oh no! Castile, what are you doing? Uh, it's because I vassalized Navarra. It gave me just enough to keep you out. But we have exactly. You know, we have the I'm same amount. It's 246 to 246. Yeah, but I was already a great power, so I think that has something to do with it. Mm. I'm only, I only have 165 guys. Come on. Share the love. Yeah. What did what did Austria like? Austria is OP. Ha. Austria is OP. Yeah, you're not even in the top eight. Damn, dude. That's because he doesn't have any of his uh. Policy. We control the province. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Hungary to get destroyed. They will. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Holland has been building a spy network in Spain for what reason? I don't know, I, I mean, know. Hungary is taking over uh, the Ottoman capital right now. Yeah. Historically, Holland and Spain were at odds for quite a long time. Yeah, but Holland's under a PU under Burgundy right now. Yeah. Yeah, um, if I ever get that land, by the way, I'm going to culture convert all of that shit. Yeah. No um, Netherlands. Bad Netherlands. Just going yeah, to no, no I learned my lesson. The Netherlands is overpowered as shit. And if yeah. you want, like, 100k troops to randomly spawn in that area... Oh my god, yes. That's what you do. I may just, like, you know... I was playing as the HRE. ...and then just give them all the land. I was managed to get... It was just a normal campaign, it wasn't Iron Man or anything, so no achievements, but I managed to form the 
managed to form the HRE proper, and then all of a sudden it started. All these little rebellions started popping up in the Low Countries. I mean, they didn't spawn all at once, but they spawned enough times that it was actually kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. You know. Now, see, I don't even understand why they would spawn if you were in the HRE. It's like they agreed to join the HRE, and then suddenly they don't want to be in the HRE anymore. Hmm. It's like England in the EU. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're not allowed to talk about politics here. <laughs> yeah, only American politics. Because we're the only country that matters. Hey. Um, hey. Oh. I don't know about that. Hey. Remember, the Aussie is the one recording. <laughs>